I want to come on here and challenge you to, to stop scrolling. Um, weeks ago when Hurricane Ida hit, I, I'm not going to lie, I saw posts that our church um, um, put on social media to pray for Louisiana and I saw it, I said a quick prayer and I kept scrolling. And little did I know, days later, God would ask me to, to give up my desires to going to the beach um, to go on a trip to Louisiana um, for a weekend. And I am forever changed and impacted by what I experienced. Um, nothing like I could have had at, at the beach. I, I would have never, I would have missed out on such an incredible experience. Um, just seeing the devastation and loss that people are experiencing over there is humbling. And people are in need. You know, there are brothers and sisters. We were helping other believers. Um, we were working alongside Minuteman and uh, New Wine Christian Fellowship, both um, Christian organizations that are boots on the ground, serving hot meals every single day to thousands and hundreds of people um, that are in Minuteman who is working on, you know, many homes each day, mucking out those homes that have been flooded with two to four feet of water. Um, and they're helping vulnerable individuals who don't have the resources or the ability to do it on their own. And they're stepping up and they're, they're, they're standing in the gap for them. They're doing exactly what the gospel says. You know, we need to not just talk about the gospel, but be about it. And Minuteman and New Wine Christian Fellowship and the organizations that are over in Laplace, um, Louisiana are, are being about the gospel. They're doing exactly that. And that's what I feel like God is calling you to do and calling us to do as a church, as his body, as his people, is to not talk about the gospel, to be about it. We're not followers of Christ because we say we are, because we pray and we read our Bible. We're followers of Christ because we do what he did when he was here. And he served people. He served the vulnerable community. And he served those in need. And he showed up for people in the midst of their storm. And although the storm has ceased, the work is not over. The people of Laplace, um, Louisiana, and all over Louisiana, the people that have been affected, they, you know, they have months and months left of work to do. But if more and more people decide to say yes, we can alleviate and relieve some of that um, that work that is that is needed to be done, especially for those who can't do it themselves. Um, so I challenge you to say yes to going, you will be forever changed. And the people that you serve alongside will be forever impacted because you decided to show up for them. A person who took off their weekends when they could be doing something else and you decided to show up and serve them. That to me is the greatest greatest gift we can give someone. Um, more than donating, more than sending stuff is to donate your time. And um, I truly believe that people will get a touch from God when you decide to show up. And we saw that this weekend when we were there. We saw it when we were there Friday through, through Sunday. And we were only there working two and a half days. And we saw the impact. People were crying. People were dancing and singing and thanking God because somebody showed up for them. Somebody showed up and they, they even admitted themselves that like, wow, God showed up for us by sending y'all. Um, so he's, he's sending people and he just, he's asking us to just say yes. So say yes. I, I, you, everything will be taken care of. Food, accommodations, all of that. You don't have to worry about the finances. All of that's taken care of. Minuteman runs an amazing um, campsite with showers, bathrooms, lodging. Um, they have all the tools that you, you'll need. And they'll provide a list of things that you'll need to bring. Um, so you don't have to worry about any of the details. They've got you covered. Um, and you know, you just got to come with a ready, willing heart to serve, um, and, and to work hard and get tired, but it, it, it's so impactful. And I, I promise you, you will never forget it.